Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Pro Cycling Manager 2020 with a new series. And after 89 episodes of the longest dick in cycling, we have come to this. It is getting more extreme, not in length. Or is it? Or maybe. May maybe, we shall see. But uh, yes, it is all about a mutant. And I have something a bit special planned, uh, though we are still going to play. Uh, still going to play the good old, good old pro cyclist mode, uh, but with a bit of a twist, and that twist is database editing. And that editing is done to create a bit of a special rider that we are going to attempt to play. And many of you have been pointing out that you wanted to play something, or wanted me to play, something of the Baroudeur type of riders. And uh, yes, I think that's a good idea. We haven't had that in a little while. Um, a longer while, that is. And um, how do we do this? Well, we need, we need a, a mutant rider. A mutant rider! <laughs> what would a mutant rider be? Let's get in here. We are going to use the world DB, and that is in its latest shape. Let's hope that ke keeps that way. Um, create the game, please. Oh, thanks, game. Oh, that's that's very helpful that I can see these name fields so well when using 4K resolution. Whom are we going to play? Well, uh, we, we of course have to be a Mimi character once again, and what would a character be without some some kind of reference to dicks? So, um, of course he's called Willy, but his last name, his family name, is Windbrecher, which means windbreaker. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think you can see where that is going. Oh, uh, he's, a, he's a tall guy. And he is a very, very happy, uh, ha happy and heavy one as well. 100 kilos, and that is just because we can't go higher than that. He would be uh, even larger. And of course, he's from Germany, and you know the, uh, well, the fattest part of Germany is the Saarland. <laughs> so uh, and yes, that's based on, upon uh, actual statistics. The most m most obese people are from Saarland, uh, or the highest rate of obesity. But uh, he's not fat. He's not a dicky mechspeck. He is he is a power package. But um, well, he's a mutant power package. So le let's see what we can make here. Well, this guy looks like a powerhouse. So let's use it. So with that out of the way, how old are we? Well, 19 years, you can't change it anymore, of course. Um, and main axis, well, these don't really matter, you would think, but they actually do. Um, we are going to edit things, but I think these main axis and secondary axis do uh, are important for what stats you get on level up. So what we are going to play is a pure baroudeur, and that one, of course, is focused on flat and baroudeuring, whatever that means, uh, kind of getting bonuses to str having stronger attacks and such. And um, then high, pretty high stamina, decent resistance, um, and decent sprint and decent hill rating. That is, um, that is what a baroudeur is about, but not our baroudeur. You know, he's not quite that good in some aspects, and he is quite the beast in others. Definitely going for lowest potential here. I don't know if that really matters aside from the experience that you will gain um, Because what we are going to do is of course edit the potential and this one the primary function of the potential is to affect the potential <coughs> Well newsflash and I've checked the um, uh, the actual uh, well, they have generated free riders of this kind and pulled them up here into put them into spreadsheet and then taken the average of the uh, range of the potentials for each stat and put that down here so take a look take a look at what what our rider is and so rider one two and three are the three baroudeurs that i did create in exactly the same fashion as i did now and these are the stats that i got the um, current stat is the starting stat, and the um, potential is the average number, as I said. And the difference is just how many points worth of in um, increased stat you could get in there if you were focusing on it. 
And they are all very, very similar, of course. There's some variation. And overall, we are averaging, which is the lower right corner one, that is the average of the three. You are averaging at 85 flat, uh, Bordeaux 85, and have an average overall stat of um, 77.4, and a current stat average of 62.2. So, now I just want to make sure that we are being, being honest in this one, and making sure that we're not going beyond these values in average and current. I'd rather go lower than that. So now we have to decide what kind of rider we are going to make with this based on this, but with a bit of special backstory. Let's meet Willy Windbrecher. And these are the stats that I've come up with. Uh, so overall, we are starting with an average of 60.5, so quite, quite significantly lower than uh, our normal starting position. Two points on average. And the potential is also a bit lower. And uh, it is looking like a different rider profile, slightly different. What is up with Willy? Well, he grew up in Little Saarland, and what he became it was a tie. Uh, what it was a speed record chasing mountain bike downhiller. Um, yes. So uh, he is he is quite quite good at that downhill. Well, with his weight and. Uh, just general skill in that that really helps for sure but he is also a mutant not like Bjarne Ries or a little bit like Bjarne Ries I guess um, <laughs> without the, the the dopes that is uh, yes uh, so um, he seems to have a lot of potential in of course flat but also time trial because he's a true windbreaker and prologues yes he can power through uh, cobble, yeah. I mean, he's coming from the mountain bike. He, he knows how to ride, and you can see that from his current stat. Actually, his cobble stat isn't too bad. So flat 65, cobble 65, and that is without having trained on the proper road bike before. Bardeur, well, he's kind of a it, when he goes, he goes. So having that bonus on attack, yeah, maybe that that might be a thing for him. Um, and then. Well, he hasn't properly trained on the road bike yet, so his stamina, resistance and recovery is shit, but uh, here comes the mutant part. Holy shit. His stamina and resistance is phenomenal. This potential. Shall we... Are we, are we going to reach it or not? Probably not, but uh, yeah. Um, we, we shall see about that. So he's starting with pretty low values, and this will be a little bit of a grind, it seems. But um, overall, I think what sticks out is his absolutely atrocious mountain skill and hill skill as a maximum. 65 and 70, that is way lower than what the normal Barodeur gets. As a reminder, here again, the average of uh, the uh, normal Barodeur. So the hill stat being limited to... Uh, to 70 means that that is six lower than the average and mountain is four lower than the average 69 was his maximum uh, as the average before for normal barodeurs in this game so yeah he is suffering in the, those categories another fun one here which is going to play very interestingly it, it's very deliberate too is acceleration there is none uh, that's the problem so uh, he's starting at extremely low acceleration and he's going to end on extremely low acceleration. And that will be very interesting to see how that plays because he's not the otherwise the profile of a rider with extremely low acceleration. How does, does he get away from people? Well, we, we shall find out, I guess. Um, will be an interesting uh, run through and... I think we can get going now. So let's head back into the game. We are all set up. Barodeur, Barodeur, very good, means the lowest. And next, please. Now, where do we start? I, whoa, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, he, the Continental Pro, four star team. Nah, I I don't think so. <laughs> we we probably need a, a bit of a, an easy start. Sauerland, Nordrhein-Westfalen, that's not far away. That's not, not far away from home at all. And we are the lead star in Northern Classics and Bardeuring. Uh, yes, that is before we edit the database. So let's get going. And there we are, Willy, Willy Windbrecher. But 
you can see he still has his normal stats. So now we are at the point where I need to edit the database and I'm going to use the PCM fast editor and quickly go in there and search for Windbrecher Willi and uh, change his, uh, his stats around a bit to be more appropriate to what we are going to do. Make him the mutant he is. So here you can see the potentials and attributes that were set before we are changing anything. So you can keep that in mind and now I'm going to quit out and then edit the database. See you in a bit. Okay, let's see if that has indeed worked. So we are resuming the save and Willy Windbrecher and yeah, yeah, that is that is some new stats, all right. <laughs> oh yes, indeed it has worked. Uh, very, very nice. Um, I, I doubt we are uh, considered the same caliber of rider anymore. Um, we shall see about that. Uh, the downhill 82 sure is impressive. I mean, if you're riding down 45 degree slopes on a mountain bike on a, on gravel surface at 150 plus kilometers an hour, then yeah, yeah, I guess you you have some kind of downhill skill at least, or at least daring to uh, make use of the the road that is there. Just two quick things before we get the season wind broken and properly started. Well, uh, probably s slowly started with these stats. Uh, in that the first one is, if you enjoy the video, uh, please smash the like button. It is the first video in a series, and if more people get to see that this exists, more will view this video and the following ones in the series. So that would actually really help. So um, please smash that like and get more people to enjoy the series, hopefully. And then the second one is to toot my own horn, because you may know or may not know that I have made my own cycling game. There are only two in the market, so uh, with my game. So uh, that is quite quite a nice change. There is content about the cyclist tactics on this channel as well, which is the one that I'm working on. Not quite released yet, but it is getting close. So, uh, with that being out of the way, also, link down below if you want to play the demo. Cool, so where do we get started? Sauerland.com. Oh, okay, well. Um, Pre-season. Yeah, season objectives. What do we have here? Tar and gravel. Do we want to have a really early fitness peak is the question. Probably not. Let me set something up that makes sense and uh, just see what's available because I haven't played this uh, mod in quite a while, since last year that is. I'm just stopping in quickly here so that you can see that everything is in order. It still assigns ranges even though we know the exact stats that I've been putting in. But yeah, you can see that it's all set up according to what we said it would be. And yeah, let me set up the calendar. I think something is telling me that this race is going to be quite good for us. I don't know what it is, but uh, I, I do get that gut feel. <laughs> this looks like our type of profile. And we of course only have 15 points to spend, so let's sign that off. I've just chosen a few more races at the start. We do need to get as much experience as possible. So, oh yeah, there's even a little tour in there. Oh, this one is going to be tough. Uh, yeah. So that's all good. Uh, in the office we have now selected the training and progression to season objectives. Yes, we need to do this. Not tarn gravel, but uh, which one was the super flat one? Ah, it's the Arno Valar de Memorial. Yes, uh, let's take that one. All right, we are now on the second, and that is the time where we... Oh, nice start for the fitness. That's really good, 94. Um, that is the time where we set up our calendar. Should be pretty straightforward. We of course don't have any training uh, perks just yet, so tiredness is going to accumulate a little faster. Alright, so up to our first objective I have done some, oh fuck, uh, some fitness training setup. We need to grab that first skill point real quick and like here somewhere and really fill in fill in this because this is not acceptable our fitness is dropping to 95 percent that is a career low point uh, and no yes we're, we're not not going to see that 95 percent anymore uh, anytime soon so should be good let's um let's get the first races on the way 
so that we actually can grab some experience. I don't expect to be able to win anything at the start. It's probably going to boil down to doing some teamwork so that you get your 10 points of XP or whatever that is if you do it really well and then maybe sneak in on, on the flat, maybe sneak in a cheeky uh, top 10 or something um, on some of the very easy ones, but oh, that, this will be tough. Oi, do you like my stats, mate? We are in New Zealand now. Cambridge to Cambridge. Uh, actually, no idea where, where that is. Uh, must be a pretty small town. Um, anyway, we... Uh, and I'm living in New Zealand at the moment. Um, so, yes, our stats are not the best, as you can see. Mountain 53. That's killer. Uh, like, literally, unfortunately. Um, and then we have Hill 55. Not much better, but downhill. Yes, that's where we <laughs> rail them back in. Uh, yes, so what do we have today? Reasonably flat. Maybe we can make it over these if they don't get to 5%. We shall see. Let's get rolling and let's do some teamwork. The there we the are. Greetings to all. We shall see how bad it is. What do we get for our first race in race day condition? Any little plus helps. Uh, plus one, yes, okay, that does help. Quite a bit. And of course, let's check out... Oh, there is a bit of downhill here. <laughs> we can make use of that. Uh, race strategy, let's see. Oh, fuck. Well, uh... Uh, that's, that's bad. Uh, that is bad. So what are we going to go for? Trying to ignore that and trying to go for a top ten in this one? Or are we going to go out on a breakaway and suffer a terrifying fate that is not great? Uh, I, I think we're going to sit tight, actually. Let's get to the front first and see what happens. Look, look at his size. He's like twice the size of every other rider in here. Look at these tiny, tiny dudes, Munsterman. Look at them. We're just massive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, he doesn't quite stick out enough, though. He, he should be drawn even larger. But his calves are about the size of other uh, other people's, like, full legs or something. Uh, yes, so that is quite impressive, mate, Mr. Windbreaker. Well, the escapees are almost caught again. 36 seconds. It's not looking good for them. So the lucky thing is, in this profile, there's actually no mountain, that, or no hill either, that is being uh, considered. So we should be able to get through here quite well. Okay, last 10 kilometers, the escapees are being caught at the moment. I'm going to use the little downhill section to get to the front. <laughs> Hopefully that works out. And, oh, they're straining me hard. But I, I think he can make it to the top of this in. Okay, so come on. Get to the front. Get to the front. Now the road dives down and... Come on. Yeah, not a problem there. Three kilom... Oh, fuck. I forgot my bar. Um, 3.3 kilometers remaining. So we should go with some... I don't know any of these, of course. Uh, there, there are some sprint trains. Gibson sounds like a favorite here. So let's uh, let's go go on someone's wheel. I <laughs> okay. There's an elephant in the middle of the road. <laughs> you just fell. No, no. Oh, he takes takes. No, he doesn't even take anyone with him. Okay, so much for actually um, trying to get a top ten in this one. Um, yeah, not happening. So, uh, sprint a little and stuff. What a glorious start to the season. Couldn't have asked for anything better than this. Zero points. Throw out. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, next one, please. Ah, uh, yeah, I think we can still do this one. 120 kilometers. Masterton to Masterton. Yeah, I've been in Masterton several times, so I know where that is. And today, we got a uh, minus one, fuck. 
Uh, break. Oh, again? Okay. Well, the minus one, I, I think I'm going to try. I'm quite far to the front, too, so... Let's, let's see what happens. Let's try to get away. Let's not forget our shit acceleration, right? So, come on. Get through. Get through. Oh, his acceleration is the slowest in history. Holy shit, we're slow. Oh, man, we're slow. Alright, uh, we need to abort this one real quick and uh, just ride 85 or something. Go on. Yeah, he's probably faster riding 85 than doing anything else. Go on. Go on. Get get in there. Hang in there. Yes. Yes, okay. So now, uh, 80... Oh, they don't want to ride? What's going on with them? Go on. Uh, no? Are they just waiting on someone? Maybe? On the other riders there? To join? Come on, join us now. Okay, now. 60 something. We are in the break, so that is what hopefully. Uh, hopefully, they let us ride. But it looks like it. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, and this is hopefully going to get us a lot of points for breakaway distance. If we can hang in there for a little while. Oh, they're all sprinting, those bastards. Uh, it's 800 meters left here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go and sprint with our fantastic sprint. Accelerating like two kilometers an hour. Out of there. Yes, okay. Now he's caught up. Oh, we finally have a bit of a gap. So, uh, we can now lower it to something ridiculous like 53 uh, and everyone is happy. Oh, oh, they are going hard. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, I need to ride like 85 plus try to hang with them. Oh, no, they stopped. What What the fuck are they doing? We aren't even in the climb just yet. Uh oh, now they go... <laughs> this is what I fucking hate about breakaways. They are such micromanagement hell. And uh, we're going to see much more of that in this playthrough, I, I assume. Let's go 90, try to catch up again. He gets such a burst of speed as soon as he gets into the downhill. It's beautiful. But, uh, yes, we need to hang in there. Come on. There we go. Now we're here again. Uh, relay and... We have three minutes on the clock. Don't need to relay that hard. We've got over half of our breakaway objective, which is nice. Remember, it's a, a, a superb ten points that are on the line for... <laughs> Fulfilling it or going over the top to do so. Um, we shall see if that is. Oh, oh, is everyone sprinting again? Go, go, go. Go hard. Go hard. Go hard. No, they don't care anymore. Okay, that's fair. Oh, okay, there is no special, even though it is the same climb. Cool. So 75% of the objective done already. And 100% complete. Beautiful. Alright, now the question is, are we going to survive this climb? Uh, it's it's there, it's 900 meters. So uh, I think we can we can go. We can go and attack and stand still in the hill, basically. Oh, we have a strong attack. That's something. <laughs> These dudes are still smoking us, but... There's the downhill. So now we're going to catch up. Look at that. Look at that. Build up in speed. 60, 80, 90. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's pretty good. So there we go. Oh, oh, you have to hammer the brakes, mate. All right, we need to work hard here, mates. What, what the fuck is going on? Why are you not working? It's 20 kilometers to the line. We need to work hard if we want to survive this one. Come on! They are just giving up. Holy shit, what is this? All right, 33 seconds. 14 kilometers to go. And now they want to ride. Yeah, well, that's a little late. The pack is just real and we are back in the pack. Ah, it was a good run. 6k to go and we were caught. So let's grab our, our little super bar. I don't know what it is just yet. We shall find out in the, the, in the course of this uh, Let's Play, I guess. Uh, this looks like a sprint train. Uh, can we join it? Four kilometers of this? Nah. <laughs> no, we can't. We're going to run out of resistance. Just barely. 
And there we go, two kilometers before the end, we and this we are out, out of juice. So now the question is, do we get anything for this breakaway? Because it was quite good. Uh, it was over 100 kilometers. And we shall see. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. What a good way to uh, to do the... the <laughs> it's so much better than the first stage. Um, but yes, so we do get all the bonuses along the way. 25, 50 and 100 in Continental. Beautiful, that's 45 points. And we completed the objective uh, that we had. So that should be another 10 points. And that means we have our first level up. Uh, plus five points. Um, only five points for over-completing this goal. Fuck you. Okay, level two. So here we go. First level up. What do we get? Woohoo! <laughs> yes! Uh, let's take a look. Okay, this is a 16-point level up. <laughs> That's not shabby whatsoever. In my little test run to see if um, this is working with database editing and stuff, uh, I did get a level up here, the first one, where I actually had a stat increase on every single stat. That was fantastic. Um, but yes, that was with stage race specialization or something. But uh, yeah, which one to take? They are all basically really good. <laughs> Even one there with more downhill. We need that. Yes, I think we're going with this one. Just overall super solid. Nothing extreme, like no plus threes or fours, but uh, yeah, very, very solid throughout. So, um, plus two and flat, hills and time trial. And of course, acceleration going from 52 to 54. <laughs> Beautiful. Stamina, of course, helping. So yes, confirm that one. And we are now no longer super shit. But more importantly, actually, what we do need is better training. And in the calendar, I need to reshuffle things right now so that um, we're, we're not sucky mech suck in the first uh, target race. Okay, we have extended the awesome that is 100% a little further down the line, including our first target. But that should suffice with our first skill point for sure. We are going to acquire a few more on the way there, so I think we'll sort it out for the rest of the season. But all right, I think that should do for our first episode. We are all nicely set up with Willy Windbrecher and his rather mutant skills. I hope you enjoyed, you smash that like button and I see you guys next time.